Hey, first things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Luminous 4K Screen Paint using Ambulite Rejection, Technology Game Times 2 and 3. Um, I'd like to show you guys how to do some pretty interesting stuff here and there. Alright, so first time I showed you how to take a adapter such like this and be able to turn a VGA adapter into an HDMI. Someone was asking me about sound. Now these, this particular one does not have sound because it's supposed to be a port here for phono or one here basically if you're going to be using a uh, USB this is the adapter you would get uh, for USB I'm going to show you the back of my projector right here so say if you have a projector that doesn't have an HDMI port on the back of it mine does have one back here on this projector so I have mine hooking up I have mine hooking through VGA now you see those ports on the back of that um, of the um, adapter I'm going to pull the adapter out just for a minute all right, like so. So, there's my adapter. Keep in mind, I had to put a special adapter. You'll see it right there. It's yellow, but a special adapter right there. So basically, I can turn it into um into males, male VGA. So see this one. This is different from the other one. This one right here, when you turn it over, has a port, a phono port right here on the back of it, and that's the other one to hook up the mini. Uh, um, adapter for H, if you're not H, H, right, for uh, UB, USB, sorry about that. And this right here has the adapter right here. I'm untangled here for a minute. The adapter here to run phono. Now, if you check out where the cable's going, it's running into my sound bar over there. So I'm going to come over here on the back of this and remove the tiny adapter I had back here. There we go. So this is the adapter. That I have because when you get it, it's going to look like this. All right, in the back of your projector, you may or may not have a male output. So, this little adapter, let's I fit it over top of this right here, it's going to look like that when you get done. All right now, so the Chromecast connects correctly on the other end of this where the Chromecast connects in. Hold on, let me disconnect this just for a minute. All right, you'll see where the adapter has a male HDMI output. And what I do is roll this up here like so, so you can see it. So right here, this is the Chromecast right here. Attached to here, there's the Chromecast, right? So that's not going to connect too well. So what you want to do is you get this adapter right here I showed you in the last video, female to female adapter, right? I'm going to set this down right here where right, so you can see it. You take the female to female adapter, there you go, like that, and you plug that right into here, like so, making that uh, female instead of a male. And then you take your Chromecast, like so, like here and here, Chromecast, I'm going to get this upside down, right here, and Chromecast here and there, and you connect it into there. There you go, and this is how you build your adapter. Now, the phono cable on the back of this, to connect this. You see a little adapter right there. You see adapter here. You see a, a little um, a phono jack hole here. If I can get the there you go phono jack there and one for USB. So since I'm plugging this into the back of my sound bar using phono, I take this right here and I plug it in there. All right, there you go. And with the little adapter in the front, makes it so I can hook it to the back of my projector. So I'm gonna connect it to the back of my projector right now. I'll turn this around so you can see the screen. But I attach it in. Make sure I got this right. Okay. There we go. Pretty sure I got that in the right correctly. Make sure get everything wired in correctly. Let me just put it up just for a minute. Neatly, and put the other piece in. Sorry about that. There we go. So that should run in. It should be popping on in a few, hopefully. My Chromecast has a bit of some problems. It gets a bit temperamental. I had to change out the power cord on the back of it. There's little tricks about how to fix your Chromecast. Make sure I got everything powered up. There we go. And Chromecast should be powering up in a few minutes.
Hey, out uh, there's the Chromecast popping on. All right, there it is. I focus a little better. There we are. That's it. Now I come over here to where my video is being played on my cell phone. I'm gonna reattach this. To There you go. Can you come out my sound bar? So people have been asking about sound, like okay, because this one right here, the older one, and that, yeah, for those who want to know, that's our made from screen paint. That right there is the uh, luminous ambient light rejection. That is our high grade professional silver. Now, see, this one doesn't have the adapters on the back of them, see? So this one won't give you sound, but the one I just showed you will give you sound. All right, so let's grab us another video, real quick. I get my phone back here a little better here. Come on now, what the heck? I can't stand when you're trying to get the screen to pretty much focus better, like it moves around, like it has a mind of its own, like it literally has a mind of its own. That's what it feels like sometimes. All right. So we have all we have our sound traveling through here. So keep in mind those 720p projectors with the VGAs on the back of them. Now you can convert them over into a compressed version of 1080p. And with our technology, it's going to look absolutely incredible. And this is how you have sound coming from your VGA. And this is running through VGA on my projector. People out there tell you that you have to buy a 4K or 1080p projector. No, you don't. You don't have to buy one. This simple adapter will allow you to be able to turn your projector into HDMI. And look at our screen paint. This is what our screen paint does to a VGA projector. Turn the sound down a little bit. I forgot I could turn it down over here. This is what our technology does to VGA signal, to a VGA signal. This is without the tons of floodlights hitting the screen. So I got a projector coming in. It is 600 by 800 SVGA only. And I'm going to be running this adapter to the back of it. And you're going to see how amazing our screen paint will make a 720p projector look. And it just shows you that you don't have to go out and spend a lot of money for a projector. Because you have people out there telling you that, you know, in order to upgrade, in order to get the best picture quality, you have to spend all this money. No, you don't. The reason why our technology looks so good, because our screen paint is absolutely amazing. If our screen paint can make a 720p projector look incredible in a fully lit environment, everything else is going to look insane on the screen. So that's the reason why we save you a lot of money, because you don't have to go out and spend all this money 
just to be able to have a 720p, just to have a 4K or a 1080p projector. And keep in mind, this is a light silver screen. So pretty much with all this light, this screen should have washed out by now. All right, just want to add real quick that our big Christmas sale is still going on. We we're supposed to end, uh, and um, we we're going to end the sale um, probably around somewhere in, uh, on the 11th. That's when the, um, the sale was going to end. But we have decided, sorry about that, just got paid a few minutes ago. Uh, we just decided that we're going to, um, we're going to have the sale uh, all the way until the end of the 23rd of December. That's when we're going to basically end the sale. Around the 23rd of September. So I'm just pulling up a little videos right here and there. But this just shows you that you don't have to spend a lot of money for a projector because you know I hate to see somebody go out and spend all this money for a projector and you really just don't need it to tell you the truth. You know I've had a 4K projector. I've had a uh, ViewSonic PX747 projector and I sold it because there's no point in me having it especially with the technology we were developing uh, it just made a, a 4k I mean a 720p look very close to a 4k projector so there was just no point in keeping it Keep in mind, this is VGA. Now, this is what I'm running off the back of my, I'm not even using the HDMI. I'm using VGA only. And this is between the VGA and our technology and screen paint, this is how amazing this screen looks. And I'll take the lights out for those who want to see the lights out. And it's no 4K, no form of um, no 4K, no form of uh, 1080p. It's called a form of a compressed 1080p when you use the adapter. And this is VGA. We even do the zoom up. Look at the zoom up. Look how beautiful that picture looks. This is what makes our technology different from anybody else's on the market. Alright, thank you all for your time. Hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. I'll put the links at the bottom where you can actually get the adapters. Thank you all for your time.